Hey there, welcome to the Art Lab. My name is Andy and today we're going to be having some fun with resin. That's right, we're going to be doing a dirty pour onto an MDF artboard and make some fantastic resin art. The first thing we have to do is level the artwork to make sure that when we put the resin on it runs off evenly. So let's jump into the process and follow along. Once we've leveled the artboard then we put a seal coat onto our MDF and this just means that the next lot of resin that we put on runs a lot easier and doesn't have to do the soaking in because this first layer does it for us. time now to make the pouring cup for our dirty pour so here we're going and just adding in the various colors one on top of each other now we've got all the colors into the one cup we're going to do a flip cut dirty pour and that's as, as it sounds pretty much get the cup flip it upside down and just let Let's sit for uh, 30 seconds or so for that resin to run in and then we'll lift the cup off. So this next bit is where the magic happens when we pull the cup up and all that resin runs out and we let it spread out across the artboard. And we do need to help along the way so we're going to have to tip that artboard around to expand the resin out across the board. This is where we bring the heat gun out, this is to pop any initial bubbles, it also helps the resin to flow a bit, so once we tip that, the resin is still a bit runny and can flow to the edges of the artboard. It's time to spread that resin out. Now we don't want to use a hairdryer or heat gun to manipulate the resin with this dirty pour because we want to retain these colours so it's all about just tilting and getting that resin right to the edge. You want to also seal the edge of this upboard. So I'm just going to run my finger right around the edge to ensure that that resin that's dripping down off the side gets to cover all the MDF wood around the edge as well. And of course we've got to pop those bubbles so out with the blue flame to go over the art piece and get any bubbles that may have come to the surface. It's the next day and the resin artwork is dry. Now what I had here with this dirty pour was actually some of the colours blending and mixing together. So even though I had disparate uh, colours with like the yellows etc, blues, 
Uh, you can see quite a lot of green here because the yellow and the blue obviously mixed together. Now, ideally what you want is a bit more colour separation, but I didn't get that in this art piece. It's all about experimenting and sometimes it goes the way you imagine in your head and other times it doesn't. Resin is one of those art forms where you just can't dictate what the end result is going to be like. Thanks very much for watching today's video. I really hope you like this Dirty Poor Resin video. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to also click on that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already and smash that notification bell so you can be notified as our weekly videos come out. Until next time, keep creative.